Hey guys, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a guest bathroom makeover for you guys. I decided to make this like the first little renovation area of the whole house because it is in our entryway area and it's the closest bathroom to our living room. So it's definitely going to be getting some traffic. So I wanted to make sure that it looked really nice. A lot of the things I'm going to be doing today are super easy little fixes. You don't need to be a master home renovator to do any of this stuff. As you can see, we have a pretty good starting off point. We upgraded our countertops and our cabinets, so that's all ready to go. There's lots of simple fixes for this though, if you guys have older countertops and cabinets. I will link some videos in the description box if this is a problem you guys are facing and you want some other solutions. Um, but we are going to really be focusing on the lighting. We have this very builder grade mirror. This guy has got to go. Um, everything else is going to get totally revamped. We also have a very builder grade tub, so we're gonna kinda try to hide that and make that kinda fade into the background, if you know what I mean. So if you are ready, let's get into the renovation. All right, you guys, so I first just wanted to start by removing this builder grade mirror. So I was taking some painter's tape and taping some X's all over the mirror, just in case when we were removing it, if it decided to crack or anything, that the mirror wouldn't shatter all over the place. So I just start by doing that and I do want to say there are two types of mirrors. Luckily ours was attached with metal clips and the metal clips were the only thing holding this mirror in place. Sometimes there is glue on the back and you would have to be a little bit more careful and remove the mirror a little bit more forcefully. But fortunately ours did not have anything like that. And then I just decided to get this wall totally clear and take off this towel bar. I just don't think that these serve really much of a function. So we ended up taking the brackets out of the mirror as well as the towel bar brackets. And then I ended up filling the holes with putty. And the brackets left rather large holes. So it was kind of a struggle, but I ended up getting it. I ended up switching to joint compound instead. And I felt like that was way better than like the putty paste we were using. Once those dried overnight, I just sanded them down so they blended in with the wall and I put a fresh coat of paint over them with this cute little pink paint roller. It worked perfectly and once it dried, you could not tell that there were even holes in the walls. So next I just wanted a super easy, cheap, quick way to update these builder grade fixtures. So I just gave them a quick coat of MAC black spray paint and after two coats, they dried and were ready to be put back on. And I think that this was a super easy solution to dressing these guys up. Okay, you guys, so we just got back from Home Depot and we got this Hampton Bay uh, three light vanity fixture. It was actually pretty reasonably priced. I think it was like $80, $80, $90. So we're gonna tr attempt to switch this out. We've never done anything like this before, but we looked at some YouTube videos and Mike is going to give it his best shot. I say Mike because I'm just here for moral support. <laughs> Shall we flip the breaker? <laughs> okay. Hey! <Whoa! laughs> Have a light. One thing I did just want to pop on here and tell you guys about. So we originally bought our vanity light online and I did that because I was like, oh, there's such a great selection. There'll be so much more for me to choose from here. And then we bought a light, whatever, and I went to Home Depot to return something and I was like, let's just like look at the lighting section because I'm curious to see what these things look like in person. And so the one that I had bought online was actually in the store, which is funny because I went to buy it online because I didn't think they had a lot of options in store and I bought the same one that was like in the store. But anyways, so I went in there and I saw it and I was like, that does not look like it does online. And there are things in here that look way more high end than that does. We ended up just buying like a different one and that's how we got this guy. And honestly, they were the same exact price, which is funny. So if you guys are looking for a new vanity light, I would definitely recommend going into the store and just kind of seeing what things look like because I feel like that helps so much with like the visualization, but that is how I found ours, so yeah. 
Okay guys, so I just wanted to show you this mirror that I got. Um, I got it from Home Goods. I got it a long time ago because I was like, oh, we're gonna need a circle mirror. It was $80, which is kind of expensive, but the thing is huge. So this is the guy that we're gonna be hanging. I really like it. Um, I originally wanted to do this like wooden mirror with like a leather strap, but the strap was too long for our like little area underneath the light. So um, we'll have to use that somewhere else, but I think this guy will go in there really well. My only fear is that it's going to be too much black, like the vanity light's black, the mirror's black, the hardware's black, everything's black, so I just hope that it looks fine. I think it will because everything else is so white that it will be okay, um, and we have like warm tones from shelves eventually that we're going to add in there, and I think it's going to look good. All right, you guys, so next we decided to remove that builder grade faucet and we had never done anything with plumbing before in our lives. Mike watched a couple of videos on YouTube and was able to figure it out. There were a couple of connections that were a little tricky, but overall it wasn't too bad. And we were able to put this gorgeous jacuzzi faucet. I love that we decided to go with the gold. I think it's a perfect accent to the black. As you can see, we originally had the matte black one there, but we returned it for this brass one and I love it. So now that we have most of our main fixtures installed, we really just have like styling left. And I know that sounds simple, but I really feel like this is the part that's going to make a big impact on the look of the bathroom and the functionality of the bathroom. So I'm very excited to get to this step and I wanna show you what I was thinking for the shower curtains. This was my original plan. This was our old shower curtain. I had this guy for like two years. I got him at Target, but they still sell it. I will link it below, but I think it's so pretty. It's this like light gray, linen-y kind of look. It's very casual, but still has a little bit of something going on. Um, but I really just wanted to go for a very fresh and clean look in here. And I'm also doing shelves on this wall and I kind of wanted that to be the focal point versus like the shower curtain being where your eye is drawn. So I went for something even simpler and I got this white shower curtain with this waffle texture, which I'm super excited about. I think that's so cute with the fringe on the end. I think this will really give me the look that I'm going for and look a lot more simple and clean and allow your eye to kind of be drawn to the shelving versus the shower curtain because this is a very small bathroom and when you have a small bathroom, you don't want things to be too busy. You really have to keep something simple and then if you want like your eye to be drawn to a certain focal point, that's where you can go like a bit crazier. But if you have too much going on on all walls, then the place is going to look like it's kind of closing in on you. So it'll be like a very neutral background to kind of play off of. And I mean, I know I'm kind of crazy because this is still very neutral and I think it would have still looked great, but I'm just like going one step further just to make sure that it's very simple. So yeah, we're gonna install that with this black shower rod that I got at Target. And I'm very excited to get this guy up here because I feel like our shower does look very builder grade and I'm just really stoked to kind of like cover this up with the shower curtain. So let's install this guy and see how the white looks. All right, you guys, so next on the agenda is to install these shelves right here, and then we will decorate them and put some other little finishing functional touches in here, and it's going to look really good. So to start out, I just got these shelves from Hobby Lobby. They were unfinished and I got them on a week where they were 50% off. So they were only $10 each. I was testing the stains on the back here and I decided I liked the lighter one better just because I kind of liked the look of the natural wood, but I wanted to add a little bit of a more whitewashed look to give it kind of like that coastal casual vibe that we're going for in our home. So I ended up doing two coats and then Mike started hanging the shelves, which I will admit I was a little bit nervous about because they didn't have have great hanging hardware but we were really careful to make sure everything was level and even and we are not going to be putting too much weight on these shelves okay you guys so we are going to be hanging these really cute little wood knobs for our towels I think they're a lot more visually pleasing than a towel rack and honestly a little bit more functional because you can kind of like hang them on there and they can dry that way so we're gonna hang two up there 
The mic's gonna hang the holes and then we should have some really cute functional towel holders. Okay you guys, so now that we have everything officially hung, it is time to style. So I'm going to be walking you through how I decorate these shelves to make the best visual impact possible as well as make them very functional. So I'm going to kind of show you everything that I bought, how much it was, where I got it from, and I will link everything that I possibly can. And then I'm going to kind of show you how I put it all together on the shelves. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so the first thing that I got for the space was this really pretty Casa Luna towel. I got two of them. They are from Target, and I think they were right around $12 each, but I did get them on a Black Friday sale for, I think, $6. But I really liked this fringe on the end, and they're that beautiful, like, Turkish-style towel, which is very high-end looking. But what I really like is the other side is kind of like a microfiber, so it does dry you off. I'm super glad glad that we did the white shower curtain because the white and the gray looks perfect together. It's a little pop of something, but it's not too crazy and it's not too busy. Okay, you guys, so really quick, it's the next day and I wanted to insert this right here while I was talking about them, but I really love these towels, but I do just hate how when they hang, they cover up the really pretty hanger that we have. So what I decided to do was I went to Walmart and I just got super cheap elastic and I'm just going to sew a little bit right here so it can hang but you can still see the really pretty wooden hanger. So we're going to do that real quick. That was super easy and I feel like it's a great solution so you can kind of display your beautiful little hooks. So yeah, let's get back to the haul now. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I got was this little wicker basket. I thought this would be perfect to put toilet paper in right above the toilet just so it's kind of hidden in a decorative way and when guests run out of toilet paper they can easily just look right behind them in the most obvious spot and it'll be tucked away in there. So I really thought that this was pretty. I got this guy from Target. It is the Threshold brand. I want to say it was either $10 or $12. I will link it below, but I thought it was the perfect size for two little toilet paper rolls, and I think that it will add some warmth to the space. I like that it's kind of like an organic, natural, earthy material, so we have that overall like very casual, fresh look. Yeah, I think that this will be very functional in the bathroom and is still decorative at the same time. Okay, so for the next thing, I had searched high and low for the perfect soap dispenser, you guys. Like, I stocked the aisles at Target, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all that. I could not find anything that I loved, especially since we had a white countertop. There was a lot of, like, white light marble, and there was nothing that really looked good. And then I decided, why don't I just go look in the regular hand soap section, not the soap dispenser section, and I found this gem. The gold accents on this guy definitely play off of our faucet and kind of bring that out. I really, really like this design, and I love the seal that says made in Portugal because you guys know I really like all of the stuff that's made in Portugal at Home Goods. And the best part was it was only $4.99 at TJ Maxx. So this stuff smells really good and I could always like refill it with something that kind of smells similar to sugared almond. I like the brown look of the dispenser and how that will like kind of pop against the countertop. I feel like for this little soap dispenser, this looks very high end. It keeps the room looking very fresh and natural, nothing too crazy, but just a nice little pop. So next we're going to add this really pretty hand towel. It was actually in the kitchen towel section at Home Goods. It was $10 for a three pack. It's those really pretty like Turkish style ones. And I think this is going to look really decorative and pretty right here. It's kind of like a pattern, but definitely keeps things neutral and simple so we're just gonna put that right here okay so I also just wanted to show you guys that I got this waste basket it's very simple but I got it from Target I like that it's more of a natural material and that has a lid now I know for like a regular high-use bathroom a lid is kind of annoying but it'll be perfect for a guest bathroom because it keeps all the trash hidden away and it'll fit perfectly right in this corner Okay, so if you guys watched my Hobby Lobby shop with me and haul, you would know that I got this gorgeous Pottery Barn looking vase. 
it was $40, but I got it for 50% off, so it was only $20, and I just think that this looks very high-end. I love anything that kind of looks aged and ceramic, so this was perfect. I feel like it's a little pop of neutral in design without being like too overwhelming for the small space because when you have small spaces you definitely want to keep the design and the decor simple when you add too many stripes and colors and things like that you really just kind of confuse the eye and it just ends up looking very busy and crowded so we wanted to keep things simple and I think that this was the perfect vase and then I found all of these little olive branches for $7.99 each I think there's four of them in here so I got those for 50% off also and they were each four dollars they are definitely a great thing to use throughout your decor so I think this is going to go right on the countertop and kind of be like the main focal piece when you look at the countertop and I just think that it looks very fresh and organic and still high-end so I think that this was a really good choice okay so next I'm gonna be talking about a little group of three that I'm going to put on the bottom shelf and if you guys didn't know typically things look best and most visually pleasing to the eye when you design in groups of three um, so the first thing was this like matte black little q-tip holder I got the little container at uh, TJ Maxx it was eight dollars and then the little q-tips are actually from a different like container with q-tips in it that I got there but I put them in this one because I felt like the black kind of played off the rest of the black accents in the room I like the q-tips because they were this almost like kind of wooden look um, not gonna lie I used one of these and I almost like took my air drum out because <laughs> they're so hard so I don't know if they're just meant for decor or what but I thought that they were really cute so we have that and then I thought that this little candle holder was the perfect little brass accent so it'll really play off of our faucet and kind of tie in that gold into the room it was $8.99 at at home and then I popped this little candle in there from Hobby Lobby which I got for 50 cents and then the last thing in this little group of three is this potty spray from TJ Maxx I think it was like four dollars and I got the scent rainwater and this kind of matches our soap dispenser and I really just do like this kind of um, recycled glass look so this guy is glass it has kind of the wood accent on the top and I thought that this was so cute a lot cuter than the poopery sorry guys so these three things are a great combination of decoration and function I think that these three will pair really nicely with the other items I have to go on the shelf okay so when styling shelves you definitely want to mix materials so you want to have some glass some fabrics things like that so we definitely want to put fabric in there to soften it up so I got these really really pretty towels from home goods they are DK and Y brand these look very soft and linen-y and I think that they'll be great for guests because it's functional right there if they take a shower you can just grab it off the shelf and it's also very decorative I love the stripes like I said it's a little bit of an accent and design without being overwhelming for the small space so I'm just gonna roll these guys up and place them on the bottom shelf it's super convenient for guests if they need to grab a towel off the shelf and I think it's just really pretty and softens the shelf with this fabric okay so when having hanging shelves I always feel like it's beautiful to have kind of a drooping floral or plant so I got this guy from Ikea and I think that it looks really real for the price this guy was ten dollars and I feel like the quality is really great if you have to go with a fake plant for the price so I'm going to be putting this guy in this really pretty concrete planter that I got from Hobby Lobby this guy was eight dollars but you know everything you get from Hobby Lobby you can get 50% off so I got this guy for four dollars this is gonna go right in here it's going to hang over the side of the shelf and I just feel like this is really pretty because it draws your eye up I think this is going to go really great on our top shelf I'm going to pop a little candle that I got from Aldi right next to it and then lastly I'm going to finish it off with this gorgeous photo frame and I got this from home goods it was ten dollars and I love that it was kind of narrow but still tall so in this photo frame 
same, I just ordered my photos online from a site called MPix, and I had never heard of them before, but I was just gonna go to Walgreens or CVS, but every time I do that, I'm never happy with the quality of my photos. So I decided to try something new. It was so easy. I uploaded all of my photos that I wanted to print. I ordered them and they were here within a couple of days and the quality was really great. So I just popped this beautiful picture that I took in California into the frame and I think it really just completes the room. And I love that it kind of sets the mood with whatever photograph or artwork you want to put in your frame. So I think this keeps things feeling very fresh, simple and relaxing. And that is it for our self styling you guys. So so now it is time for the fun before and after transformation. For this bathroom makeover you guys obviously this was our first project of the entire house I have so many more videos like this coming so if you are not subscribed and you like content like this make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified once again thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye